Jennifer. I, I used to work in the sound department at Loyola's School of Film and Television, but recently moved up to the scene shop here. I was given a cubby to put my stuff in, and I was told to clean it out. So I cleaned it out and then realized that I don't have a doorknob on one of my doors, which was kind of annoying because you have to open up the other one before you can open up that one. So I was like, I should make a doorknob. And this can be my first project here at the scene shop. So my friend Grant was cutting holes out of wood so he could have like these empty holes in the wood. But he had these extra wood pieces that were in the shape of like a somewhat some like cylindrical figure. And was like, hey, you should use these for your doorknobs. And I took this doorknob and I started sanding it and wiping it down, making it look nice and shapely. And it's my personal belief that a wood made this kind of doorknob shouldn't be perfect, because I believe that the perfection loses something. So instead, I made this kind of uh, rustic, I think you would call it a rustic industrial kind of modern look doorknob, where it has like geometric, a little bit of flats and a little bit of shapes and I, I wood stained it to be this dark, dark brown color, which doesn't match my cubby at all, but I think that it adds <laughs> a lot of character to it and it stands out and the contrast is really high. I put uh, the liquor, it's called, um, it's not polyurethane, it's a different type of urethane, it's spar urethane, I think, which is very glossy and it'll be smooth, because I, I did a, um, I did a uh, looker of the satin last night, but it wasn't soft to the touch. It was still too rough. So I decided I would try this spar thing, and then it would make it softer and better for its use.